And we're back with another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms 3. I'm your host, the RPG Guy, and let's do some uh, weapon upgrading, shall we? Um, and we're going to do a big, big bunch of upgrade, uh, upgrades a little later, but Clive is hurting for an upgrade, so let's make sure we give one to him. And you can see the next upgrade cost is that 6 freaking thousand. And like I said, we really just are investing in his shot right now, so that is big. Same with um, Jet. We can't really invest in him any further either. However, however, we can invest in uh, Virginia here. And I'm wondering, do I want to do five bullet, five weight? You know, we could do, hmm. You know, I think what we'll do is bullets really expensive anyway. So let's just do a whole bunch in weight instead is what I'm thinking because it's cheap. Um, and then gallows... Could put some in his crit, I guess. Gallows is always the hardest one to really figure out. It's hard to say. You know what I think we'll do? I think we'll do this. We'll put some in in his crit because it's cheap. We don't have enough to do really any other characters here, so we'll move on. All right. So with the information we got from the dude in town here, we know where the railway is. But we kind of know where it is on top of that. But to each his own. Do -do 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 -do. So let's get moving. So when you see the green exclamation point, it actually means we can skip the battle. Which is nice. Because why do we want to waste time fighting enemies that are not worth fighting? And here we go. We find the Midland Station. And from here we will take this to the new region. So let's go ahead and buy a ticket to Westwood. As you can see, that is the map of Philgaia. <coughs> hey, God, it's Westwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's Tony, the guy from the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead and depart. And we're off. And then we need to find you. So let's chat with him. Lots of passengers today. I'm glad I the group decided to use our stations. I suppose the village nearby has been having some kind of fair. Oh, you haven't heard? East of here is the village of Claiborne. It's a nice place to visit if you don't mind the long walk. That's right where the tracks start. It's right where the tracks start to curve. They're famous for their horses. I hear the train they train them to be both obedient and strong. It wouldn't be a perfect place if it wasn't for the one thing, the saloon's mistress scowl. All right, so that's interesting. So, yeah, we need to head pretty much um, <clears throat> pretty much east and follow the tracks. But you can see there's not really any tracks. So you really can just, the only way to go is east. But he means these tracks way over here. So I'm not sure how the train reaches that station and i don't know if i want to know but it's kind of funny podarge yeah these guys are assholes they steal your shit they're thieving owls they are they're thieving hooters <coughs> which means when they steal you got to kill them right away or because they'll they'll leave and they'll steal your good stuff like lucky cards and gala cards and stuff i'm not kidding they, these are the assholes of the sky right here Luckily, we're pretty beefed out, so we don't have to worry too much about them. And we're almost ready to level again, which is great. But we're going to do some money grinding in a little bit, so... There, there's Claiborne. So here we go. Claiborne. There's lots of little items hidden throughout this place, so let's get to it. Um, starting here. We get a revive fruit, and actually, I believe 
Can't see if you're in this village, so what are you all after? No, not yet. Never mind. Uh, hmm. Let's see. There should be some crates around here somewhere. Oh, you know what's on the other side? It's a nice small little town, though, isn't it? Ain't it quite? Now, we'll get that hillberry since we're over here. Up oh, back here. Sweet. Let's go in here. I know there's a there it is i was like i know there's a duplicator around here um let's go this way saddle soap and a large brush are found inside the drawer this smell reminds me of daddy kind of smells like the cloth that he we cleaned our arms with <laughs> There's a gimel coin. I believe there's something over here. Whoop! Yay! It's one of these. I know it's one of these, damn it. Oh, no, it's not. No, no, no. I'm in the saloon. Wrong place. <laughs> it's in here. No? I could have sworn. Arm and the spirit catches your eye. Would you like to read it? Those who shoot arms must synchronize their spirits with the arm's makeup. Sometimes the synchronization is so detailed that it results in the arm performing well above the, its specs. That is why the results vary when different people shoot the same arm. Figuratively speaking, an arm needs to be synchronized if you were to be were to want it to be a part of your body. In other words, upgrade your arm. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll go to the salon. Saloon. Saloon. Yes, I'm Martina's aunt. Can I help you? She looks like a fucking psycho bitch. Don't look at me like that. This saloon used to belong to her parents, but her father fell into debt from all of his gambling. I've put up the collateral to save the business, so now they owe me. Ooh. I want to say this is where What's-His-Name was at the beginning of the game, but I don't think I'm right. Martina, welcome. We appreciate your patronage. My mom is usually in charge of cooking, but she isn't here right now. Monty and I will cater to all your culinary needs. My mom is working elsewhere right now, therefore I must do my best to help run the saloon until she comes back. However... I haven't received any letters from her recently. I'm starting to get a little worried. Aw. Worry. I'm trying to get a location out of somebody in this town. There we go. This village has some legendary stories about the Eternal Sparkle. No one knows what it is, but I hear it got sealed away somewhere at the end of the Great War. Rumor has it that clues to the whereabouts of this eternal sparkle can be found at the ruins by the foothills. Oops. Now, oh. chat, there we go. You'll see mountains east of the village. Search around the foothills and you'll find the ruins. No one has been able to confirm any truth to this rumor, but I'd prepare before setting foot here. Or setting foot there. We're mostly prepared. I don't think there's much else we really need to do except make maybe make a save. Because, again, saving is your friend. <clears throat> Especially in games like this. So, as you can see, Clive's H or Gallows' HP is through the roof, but that's because of what he's got equipped on him. Uh, as far as uh, mediums go, for anybody wondering. Remember when Granny said that the mediums' powers were unlocked and the stat boosts would be given, and that's literally what's happened here. 
<clears throat> Alright, we need to head out east. And then there's the sign. Here's your sign. The miracle of two people's fates crossing cannot be foretold. So buy now what you'll need later, or else you'll find yourself scour scouring for the merchant again. Alan Smithy. <laughs> Whatever you say, Al. And thus we headed to the Serpent's Coils, I believe is what it said. Be on your guard, everyone. If the shield that seals the Eternal Sparkle is located here, there's a good chance Janice might be here, too. Fair enough. But if we see him, we kill him. Alright, so let us head down this way. And then, well, we got... Let's go this way. Believe this be the way we want to go. And then grab this. Open says me. That just I think leads back the way we came. So let's go this way. And we get two Gala card, nice. And two thousand bucks. Navigation system activated. That indicates an explored area, while filled in circle indicates a previously explored area. Yellow indicates the last area explored. Use these symbols to navigate your way around the ruin. Press the lever again to turn off the navigation system. Um, we'll leave it on. I don't care. <clears throat> it really isn't that useful. Most of the dungeons aren't too maze-like early on. So, but for what it, for what it's worth, we'll just do this. So, mm, mm, mm. I guess we'll just go this way. You know what? I just realized we can't. So, let's never mind. Let me go this way. Which. We'll check out that other door in a minute here. Now, these enemies are very, very interesting, as we aren't at a level to really optimize the fighting of them, but you'll see what I mean in a minute, as we do no damage to them. However, magic is the key here, guys, and what does that mean? An enemy, this is the only enemy in this dungeon, I believe, too. There might be a one other repeat enemy, but I'm pretty sure there's no other enemies in this dungeon. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means all enemies must be killed with magic. Okay, so what's... What's the deal with that? Well, killing enemies with magic gives us gems. So this is actually one of the er best early places in the game to grind a lot of cash. We're talking big wads of sweaty money. Um, because every battle will give you jellies, pretty much. And every time you kill one, you'll get a gemstone. This is the probably the first long grind area of the game. Why is this important? Because we can invest all the money into upgrading our weaponry. Upgrading the weaponry will make stronger characters and allow us to save money for other things further down the road that we'll need to buy. Um, and trust me, money is very coveted in this game in many more ways than you think. And it's one of the, if you didn't if you have not done much or any grinding to this point, this is literally the best time in the game to actually do it. Not gonna lie. So this is the first room here. Let's check something. I feel like I'm missing something. Give me a second. But yeah, so anyway, that's my big my big uh, beef on that one. My strong recommendation. It's empty. That's all. Could someone already be in here? It's empty. It's empty. It's nothing but a sack of lies. Alright, so in order for us to move on here, we got to go back the way we came. And this is one of those dungeons where I, I, you don't need to worry about getting the money now. You, you'll, we'll come back and, and, and handle that. So fighting right now is not something in that I'm most directly interested in. Why, thank you. I never imagined a rival drifter would be so cooperative. Hmm. Trust me, I can't think of a better voice because she totally should sound like that. Be the antsiest, prickiest. Southern sounding woman I can do. Afro! It's not Janice, but still thugs nonetheless. 
Was she referring to me? This lassie needs to get out more. <laughs> Madam, we must press on. <laughs> I know, I know. Is it still responding on the radar? What are you doing here anyway? Huh? Did I stutter? I'm sure you were just looking for a shield, a shield anyway. Okay then, here's another question. What makes you think you can find your way around this wasteland? What is it that you, that supports you, that makes you think you can make it, hmm? What are you talking about? I'm just me. Stop talking such nonsense. Sounds like you're just another one of those people who roam the wastelands unprepared and clueless. It's poses like you that give female drifters such a poor rep. I can't stand it. One of these days, you're really gonna hurt yourself by pretending to be a drifter. I suggest you turn back now. Pretending? No, I'm sorry. My, my sister always speaks her mind. That often makes her come off as harsh. I know I'm just starting to take flight, but still, the nerve of her! I'll punt, cunt, cunt, punt her right through a field goal post. Damn, Virginia, I didn't think you were that dark. Well, she's kind of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, she was kind of an asshole. Will you guys shut up and just go? We gotta stop her. <laughs> <laughs> she could be working for Janice. Mm, she's got the ego enough. I don't know why I'm doing, like, unrelated banter. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Not that I really need that. And this leads pretty much back the way we came, doesn't it? But it gets us these guys. Let's just skip that for the moment. I want to make sure that I'm going the right way here. I am going the wrong way here. Okay, I know where I am. Derp, 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 derp. And we'll pick another fight. May as well leave it on here because I'm not going to do... I mean, I'm going to do a lot of fights, but... You know you know what? We'll skip this, actually. Give me one sec. All right, let's keep moving here. So I feel like I'm going the wrong way. But let's check it out. Let's go through here. Okay, now we're good. Go through here. And now we can move forward. We'll pick another fight. Okay, let's keep moving. We'll get a Gimmel coin and three lucky card. Nice. Forgot what was in that chest, but always good. go in here okay that gives us access to go back the way we came let's go this one away oh you bitch I will kill her with fire hey so that's how it's gonna be huh what a bitch before I actually read you know what we gotta go down and redo it anyway Oh, you know what we got to do, actually, before we move on too far? Is it that? I thought there was something we had to do to this. Let me get a beat on this control. Guess not. So 
Right down this way. Back. Open the chest. There we go. Migrant seal. Clear chime. Another really good item. And we'll use a Duplo. Well, do I want to use a Duplo here? Uh, hmm. Let me think. You know what? I, we still don't get good stuff out of the Duplo chest yet, so we'll hold off on it. Again, we'll be able to get Duplos later to to handle that. Wow, an easy fight, huh? Means it's nice when you know you're a little too strong for the area. It's really all she was doing was making us take the long way around. Uh, there we go. Hey, ninety ninety and a ho ho ho. You bitch. I knew there was a puzzle here that used the freeze, though. That see, that's oops. That's how I know my memory still works. Let's turn it, and then let's see who's laughing now, bitch. You're such an asshole. Yes, I am. <laughs> oops. Get down there. There we go. Wee 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 wee. Whoa, who? What an asshole. Alright, let's keep moving here. Whoop, get in there. Ow, hit the mic with my hand. You're such an asshole. Who do you think you are, ran away? I may be inexperienced, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm not pretending, okay? I'm not gonna have you laugh at me when I'm doing trying to do my best. You really crack me up. Then why don't you prove just how far your best will take you? The cat fight of the ages. No, I'm just kidding. So interesting battle dynamics, four of them and four of us. Well, easiest thing to do is go for the afro. And when I say go for the afro, I mean, go for the afro in ways you could never have predicted. So, afro dude is actually their healer, and he also uses some of the strongest attacks in this battle. So, this is an interesting feature, as now he will take extra... Di Ooh! <clears throat> and now, uh, uh, Virginia's confused, which is really bad. And they're ganging up on her, which is also equally bad, by the way. Yeah. Like I said, he's the strongest guy running around out here. So taking the Afro dude out is going to be paramount. Especially now that Virginia's confused. is gonna She's probably going to kill herself or get killed. One of the two. So we got to be very careful here. Have her defend. I believe it is Pinwheel. Pin, pinwheel. Heal Virginia and Clive. Take out Afro man. Yeah, she's just doing whatever she wants, so. And thus, he's going to waste a turn healing. So hopefully, Jet can get a healing off. I oh, see. No, never mind. It did not waste his turn at all. So as you can see, this is going to make things really complicated here. That damn psycho crack. It's tough to get him to, to to not to cut that cut the shit with that. I believe he has the most health of any of the bot any of the four of them. But yeah, we got to kill him first, as you can clearly see. Uh. We gotta get this off of at least uh, her. Pinwheel, Virginia, reload, Clive. 
We gotta have Clive constantly attacking here, so... For some reason, I thought uh, Afro's healing would have... Um, wasted his turn, but it doesn't. Kind of like with Janus healing his butt buddies in the last battle's auto. God damn it, he keeps confusing everyone. I try to... I try to get to cure the damn illness. I'm having no luck with this at all. This is sometimes how this fight can go, so we may have to use a Gimel coin and repeat it. Because Psycho Crack is... We don't have the means to defend against it yet, technically. Um, I guess, does Memento Pen do it? No, Memento protects against the Amnesia, I believe. So yeah, we don't really have the means to deal with it. So we're kind of at the mercy of the, of, the, of the bosses right now. He's reloaded, but that doesn't mean shit. Um, god damn. They're not gonna do what I want them to do anyway, so let's just pinwheel to Virginia, because if she gets any more FP, which she just did... Okay, he's not using that ability this time, so we can get her to AoE, uh, remove... But we can have her mystic the pinwheel, is really what I'm getting at here. As long as she lives. So, that'll be good. And as you can see, because of the chaos we are dealing with, we are not going to try to, um, we are not going to try to, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, AOE recover, uh, AOE, uh, lucky card and Gellicard. It's not worth it in this battle anyway. All right, so we're still barely in there, hanging in there. And Clive saves the day, kind of. Might be better if we don't cure it, but I kind of want to. So, let's Mystic a pinwheel. Let's have Jet go ahead and heal Barry himself. Nobody else really needs healing except uh, Virginia. And we'll have Clive lock on to Afro. Once Afro's out of here, this battle becomes a joke. He's the biggest threat in this whole freaking fight. All right, so nobody's confused, though one might get confused, like Virginia, which we'll pick her up in a minute if we can. We just, we have to recover here. And we might use Jet's Accelerator as well. That should kill him. Or at least get him almost down. Is what I'm hoping for, anyway. Okay, he's out. He's out of the fight, so that's good. Um, Vive Fruit, Virginia. Let's go ahead and extension heal. And we'll go after uh, Timid Boy. Uh, we'll go after Cat. No, we'll go after Catfucker. I think he does more damage. That's really the trick. Go after the one that does the most damage. Yeah, Catfucker does the most damage, doesn't he? It's hard to tell. We'll figure it out in a minute here. Yeah, it's the cat bastard that's the biggest threat, so we're gonna go for him. We're gonna go gunning for the cat. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. We have no SP, so SP's got to be earned. Let's have Virginia heal herself with another heal berry just to be safe. You know what? He's got Gatling coming up, so we'll save it. May as well use Gatling on uh, the 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 boy throwing dynamite out of his panda backpack. His panda purse. Wimbledon. Not quite there yet, is he? Wow, ah, so close. I think we'll have him just do a melee attack if need be. Mm. 
You know, he can just use magic. Time to send you to the Kula. Bonk on the head. And jet's on fire. Once we get cat face down, we'll be good. Oh, dang it. Then it's water, I guess. I forget what he's weak to. We'll find out. Oh, nice. There's a kill right there. Uh, Go after Blondie because we're going to have some free damage here in a minute. You know what we will do though? Let's do that. And we'll split them up because Jet's going to go Gatling on the kid. Yeah, you can see that even though we're maybe a level or two higher than expected, this battle wasn't easy. Especially because we got Psycho cracked in the worst way. Oh, another crit. Don't kill her. I needs her alive. Let's have him go after the boy just to be safe. Gatling. There. Reload. You should be done out of the... Trust me, you don't want to know where she's keeping that. Her her, 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 her crotch is like a frickin' uh, wilderness cavern. You shouting and go, hello, 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 hello. And them lips are so been used, it's like a fucking high school stage curtain. <laughs> You're just flopping around trying to find the interest. Okay, anyway, enough of that. Anywho, let's see here. Going after him. Okay, kids down. Time to go after Whore McFeederson, who sits there and has a mini gun in her cooch. I knew I smelled fish on them bullets. Ah! Oh, the jokes they write themselves. <laughs> and that then layers the battle. And we get 184 XP, which is meh. We get a potion berry, which is probably the best thing we're getting out of this fight. Which is an improved version of a heal berry. But I shouldn't complain too much, because Clive's about to level. We may even fight an extra battle just to get him that level uh, as well. But I'm not going to worry about it right now. You are tenacious and stubborn. Hmm. <laughs> but let's see if you can handle this. Uh, sis, sis. How dare you interrupt me? Since when have you gotten so bold? Anyways, what is it? Yes, the radar is reacting. I think the team that went in ahead of us is making its move. Sorry to spoil the party, but we don't have time to play with you anymore. Ta-ta! Don't hurt yourself. Wait! The name's Maya Schrodinger, and we are the renowned Schrodinger family. And don't you forget it. It's a name you'll be chasing for a long time. I'm Virginia Maxwell. I'll remember it for the time being, but listen, once I turn my head, you better be right behind me, or else I'll forget real quick. Toodles. <laughs> Fucking psycho bitch. All right, let's move on. <laughs> Trust me, there's a part of her you don't even know about. We want to fight this really quick for reasons. And Clive gained a delicious level. Hence why I wanted to make sure we got that that combat in there. Let's go ahead and grab this other chest. 
which is a duplicator. Where did they go? <clears throat> the shield! I think we're the first ones here! <sighs> Wait, where's me and her team? We better make the most of this opportunity. You won't be able to reach it like that. Would you like some help? <laughs> yeah, can you? Uh, huh? Hi there. Oh, man. Are they the team the was talking about? Apparently. Jeez, why does everyone hate us? Well, bro, we have no social graces just like the boss. <laughs> the foul! Oh, my baby maker. I just choose to work efficiently. And when others don't like it, they make a fuss. Make a fuss? How can you say that after betraying people's trust? Everybody and their brother are just so blind to their own faults. It's as if everyone is blaming me, making me look like the bad guy. But the truth of the matter is, everyone's just sore they were outwitted. <laughs> now I get it. You feel no pain when you stomp all over people because of the way you think. Well, of course. I'm the one doing the stomping, so why should I feel the pain? Calling you a thug is much too flattering. You have absolutely no moral principles. You're nothing but a scumbag. Scumbag? <laughs> That's an understatement. <laughs> I'm a douchebag, bitch. I'm Janice, bitch. <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right, let's get started here. So we actually start with magic abilities available to us because we went ahead... And um, made it excel, uh, made it um, available to us. So one of the things we can do early on is we need to get our defense up quick, fast, and in a hurry. What am I doing? Okay, there we go. So we need to get FP up because we need gallows to AO pretty much AOE um, protection and magic on us in order to keep the Trinity attack from just, just devastating the party. And getting our slower character Clive here just a hair faster wouldn't hurt. We'll find out how faster in a moment, but... Yeah, here we go. Oh, gosh. Why always, Virginia? Ooh, and she blew up. But yeah, getting Gallows to 25 FP is going to be paramount here. Yeah, so the speed accelerator didn't really do much. Um, let's go ahead and have her use a heal berry. Attack, attack, and attack. Just all three of those guys ganged up on Virginia. So we whittle down, uh... Uh, Romero here because once Romero's out the Trinity attack is no longer a problem but we got to get to that point which is easier said than done get him get him get him reload because remember even though the if we remove the Trinity attack Janice is still pretty threatening he's pretty deadly so, we have to keep that in mind. Hence why I want Gallows to AoE put put up Protect. Now that... Uh, oh, actually, you can't do the Trinity attack, so that's good. Good, 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 good. It's all coming together. So now let's gang up on Dario here. So, extension. Physical. Yeah, we want physical attacks. Protection. And then... Dario... That's the reason why, by the way. He did 53 to Virginia. 
which is quite a lot of damage but this should reduce some of that definitely much easier than the last battle And then really quick before whoop no before I forget, we'll do that to Janice. Nice. Yeah, so now he's not gonna do as much damage to Virginia, which is good. And Virginia reload, reload, reload. A lot of reloading. Yeah, see, he's much less of a threat now. Nice crit. I think that'll be good. Should be almost down. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Might have Gallows heal Virginia. Single target heal, that is. Should be dead. Yeah, there he is. He's down now. Ooh, Janice just took that one right in the baby makers. All right, let's Gatlin this up here with. So we're gonna Gatling with three. That's fine by me. Gatling with two. Heal Virginia. Lock on. That should kill him. That was a lot of damage he took right there. By the way. Just saying, it, sh it probably, it might kill him. We're hoping it does. Yep, he's down. And we get a water gem extra bonus. That's not normal because we killed an enemy with water. And we get 150 XP and 164 Gela. Okay. Not great, not bad. And everybody's about to level again, which is nice. Except for Clive, obviously. Did you just see a cat farting and flying through the air? Hey, balls! That cat's called the shield, and it's taking off with it. Idiots. What are you doing standing around? That's no ordinary cat. It belongs to a drifter. We had already confirmed that there were two other teams within these ruins in search of the shield. And oh, how easily we were able to snatch it away from the, go the goods from both of you. I was a little disappointed how the notorious Cascade couldn't live up to his reputation. A little anticlimactic, I must say. <laughs> Since when did women begin to lose their modesty? Oh, women have been living proudly for a long time now. You just need to date more. The eternal sparkle is sealed by three shields. Rumor has it that a female drifter is in possession of the Creo Shield. Might that be you? Bingo. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like the odds are against us today. But I just want you to know that we're not giving up on the eternal sparkle. Have you been to Clareborn, southwest of here? By the tip of the peninsula stands an ancient tower. It's called Kydangle. It was constructed by humans long ago in an effort to reach the heavens, seeking power. That is where the eternal sparkle is sealed. Sealed by the power of the three shields. 
Why, thank you kindly for all the information. You're just gonna let him go? I chose to work efficiently. I choose to work efficiently, that's all. <laughs> Even if I am just buying time. Stop right there! Yeah. I say it stop. Slap. Oh, you're the one who needs to stop what you're doing. But why? They're. They do have a bad rep. That goes to show how good they are. That's the way it is in the wasteland. But. But what? You think they're the bad guys? Then what is your definition of bad? Just now, you did something extreme and endangered your comrade. So by being imp imprudent and risking the lives of others, doesn't that make you a bad guy too? This is exactly the kind of thing that makes me think you're just pretending to be a drifter. Hmm. No, wait. You're not going to the tower, are you? It's a trap. I know it. Of course it's a trap. It's so obvious. You look surprised. You're wondering why I would set out there for that tower. Well, if I were to go there and they showed up, all the shields would be in one place. And the eternal sparkle is sealed there. The stage would be complete. What was it I wanted to... What was it that I wanted to accomplish as a drifter? I have no idea. My wings are in place, yet I have nowhere to fly. This is a hurdle people face when they wander into the wasteland with some romantic idea in mind. Just bring the shield and head to south and head southwest to Cardingle. There you'll find neither good nor bad, only the truth about drifters. Once you face the truth, you'll find your answers, okay? Are you sure, my lady? Yes, she'll be fine. Once she faces the truth, I'm sure she'll stop pretending to be a drifter. All right, everyone, let's get going. It's kind of a strange uh, turn of events there, ain't it? Our leader's pretty bummed out. All we can do is land a help man. If she cannot get back on her feet herself, and this is it for her. Well, depending on how you look at it, this was kind of fun. According to them, we were just amusing ourselves pretending to be drifters. <laughs> well, what now? That's up for the leader to decide. <sighs> Perhaps she already made up her mind. Where am I supposed to fly? Hmm. <laughs> I'm doing the best I can, and I'm taking this seriously, but I feel like I'm getting nowhere. What am I lacking here? What is that? What is it that supports me and molds me into who I am? What is it that I need to traverse the wastelands as a drifter? Daddy, back then I didn't understand why you left me or what you were thinking, but now I think I understand a little bit. There's something out there in the wasteland, right, Daddy? That's why you became a drifter. Daddy, what should I do? I can't consider myself a drifter until I know, right? My accent is like fading back and forth here. <laughs> My apologies. But still, I have to fly. <sighs> if I don't, this will end. This will all end without me my finding out anything. I'm not going out into the wasteland because I have a purpose. I'm going to the wasteland to find a purpose. <sighs> I better go apologize to everyone. And, and, oop, I farted. <laughs> Ruin that moment for you? Are you feeling better? I'm fine now. And, <laughs> I'm sorry. 
I became a drifter thinking that maybe my arms would could help could help people in need, but I didn't have a purpose or a goal as a drifter. That's why she said I was pretending. How I put everyone in danger. Please forgive me. So, did you find out what you wanted to do in the wasteland? Yep. And wait, well, maybe not. Eh. Well, which is it? Well, I'm not confused anymore. I know why I need to continue traversing the wasteland. Looks like we were spared a depressing sob story. <laughs> of course. I may have been depressed a little while ago, but I'm not going to let it end like this. So let's all continue on as a team and see this matter through. We haven't made much money yet. I can't drop out now. Hey, we're all invited guests. Let's do this together. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Let's hurry to the Southwest Tower. Cod dangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're all hide. All right, so we get a free healing, which is always which is always heavily appreciated. I don't believe there's a scene going out of here, so just in case there is, we'll let this kind of run. Okay, so we'll go back into town. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to spend about, I would say, about 30 minutes to an hour grinding uh, crisp, uh, gems so we can sell them and level up our gear. And I'll give you guys in the next episode an idea of how far we get with that. I don't know for how long it's going to take. I think it'll take roughly 30 to 30 to 60 minutes. So if it takes longer than that, it takes longer than that. But I do want to get some significant levels in our uh, parameters for our arm specs. So getting this uh, higher is paramount to really making these characters shine. Um, and then, again, it'll help us save a ton of money later on. And guess what? Characters might gain a level or two doing this. So, to me, it's a win-win in a game that, in order to technically beat everything there is in it, which I'm debating in my head if I'm going to do, um, you need to get your characters to level 100. That's not a joke. So, ooh, did I just give away how strong you have to be for this big endgame stuff? Yes, I did. So, this is a big game. I said in the beginning, in the first episode, this is a massive game. So... Anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I'm your host, RPG Guy. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. Check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jackdartstudios for more RPG action live board games and uh, blind role-playing games as well. Um, and uh, thank you guys for stopping by, and we will see you guys next time.